Okay, so point number one, starting with the boiler itself. So you got the heating and you got the output temperature for the sink and the shower. The one we're going to be concentrating on is this one. So effectively what this does, when you turn it down, it well, basically reduces the temperature that goes to the radiators. Uh, if you increase it, what it will tend to do is just speed up the heating process in your rooms. It'll heat your rooms faster in the times you need heating. The goal here is to basically put down the temperature for that dial and get it as low as you can with it still being able to heat the room in the time you want it to be heated in. Another tip for your home is to use heat reflectors which just goes behind your radiator and this radiates the heat back into the room. So I don't know if you can see here but here is the foil and we've just put sellotape. Yeah, so that just makes it more energy efficient in your room. It's a cost effective uh, measure as well, isn't it? Okay, so my next tip is the thermostatic valve. You've got numbers on there, they, they range from zero, which is basically turning the radiator off completely, right up to number five, which is basically the hottest required temperature that you could probably require. Usually what people do, they leave it at number three, which is roughly equivalent of 20 degrees. And number three basically gives you efficient temperature when you need heat demand in your house, like for example, in the evenings or early in the mornings. And then the days and times you're not using heating, you can pretty much turn it down to number two, which is roughly 15 degrees, or even number one if you don't really use that room that much at all. So what it does effectively, which people don't fully understand, is that if you leave it at number three, when the room is at 20 degrees, it will automatically shut down this radiator when it reaches required temperature. Therefore, you're not boiling loads of water to feed them to this radiator when it's really warm in this room, which makes your system more energy efficient. Um, to take it one step further, you can also get these smart valves. What it will do, it will tell the boiler to turn on only for the room it's in and all the radiators work on their own essentially and it will make it more efficient for the whole heating system. Another good thing about these is that you can actually control it from another country using your data or Wi-Fi. The only drawback for this, I would say, is probably how much it costs. This system cost me around £500 and I don't think it's cost effective to saving money in general. Now I can quickly show you the main hub unit which controls everything as well. So this is the main hub unit which is basically the brain for the whole system. That's the back room, bedroom basically and uh, you can change the heating requirement according to what you want throughout the day. Um, you can also do that from your phone as I explained earlier. And there's a living room, kitchen. So another obvious thing to do is to get thermal curtains and this will just help retain all the heat in the room. As That's... well as also keeping your blinds shut. During the winter. One other tip with your heating system is that you can bleed your radiators. So throughout the year you might get air pockets which are trapped in the radiators themselves and how you'd know is basically you would touch the top of the radiators here and if it's cold here and it's hot on the other side uh, then you probably have trapped there inside. Now to release that air what you need to do is turn your heating and your boiler system off. Get a screwdriver, put it there, twist it anti-clockwise really slowly until a little bit of air starts to come out and um, wait till a little bit of water comes out as well. So that's the time when you just kind of stop and you then you can tighten it back up. What will happen in your system is that your pressure will drop then after. When it does, you simply got to top it back up. So to top up your radiators back up with pressure, there's normally a little valve here and sometimes you have two. That allows the boiler to top up its pressure and when you use that valve and on the boiler itself, the pressure should ideally be in the green zone and you'll see that dial going back up when you top up the pressure from underneath your combi boiler. So you have seals on the side of the window, just have a look and make sure they're intact. Essentially you can use heat from that. So this is the seal that I'm talking about. So just make sure that this is all in a good condition. If not, then just replace it.